Hi guys, I'm Alex. Welcome to my shave. Today is uh, April the 18th. It's a Thursday. And I'm wearing the mask because over there at Hopper Rocks, got a real bad cold. And I'm old and I don't want to catch it. So that's why I'm putting on this mask. Because <laughs> he's coughing like a bull seal over there. And uh, you guys be careful. Put on your mask because that Gary up there in Canada, he's got a bad one. Let's hope he gets over it soon. So right now we're just going to take off our mask. I think he's far enough. <laughs> I did a little acknowledgement there, Gary. <laughs> hope you get well soon, buddy. Okay, guys. We're going to get into our shade today. Like I said earlier, it was the 18th of April. It's Thursday. We're going to be using the Merker. Hang on, I got a rubber band on here. Today we're using... The Merker 34C. Inside there, I have a Wilkinson sword blade. I have the. Hang on, where is it? I got it here somewhere. There it is. I got the Wilkinson sword blade in there. And I've used it uh, three times so far. And we're going to be doing it again today. So that's done there. I've already got the razor blade in, the, the blade in there already. I keep mixing up on that. And today we're going to be using some tobacco from Taylor's of Old Bond Street. One of my favorites. <sighs> Smells beautiful. There it is, right there. Okay. We're going to be using that. We're going to put that in our little shave bowl and get it going. With the pre-shave is going to be Parasso, the white one. Very good one. Very, I've been using that a lot. And then after shave, we're going to go with the Brute Musk. I like that one. Pretty good, huh? And then Cologne is going to be the Brute Cologne. This is a in-the-glass bottle. These are nice, beautiful bottles. I like them. And then after that, we're going to put on some Barnivia to relax and get our face nice and done. And our brush is going to be the Boar's Hair Brush from Omega. This model 11126 with the wooden handle. A very nice brush. Smaller than most, but does a great job. Great feeling handle. All wood. And I, I picked up a, a, a hint from Gary the other day uh, up there in Hopper Rocks and I put a rubber band on my uh, alum rock apparently Gary says he told, someone told him to put that on there and it'll give you a better grip and uh, I kind of believe it I'm going to give that a shot and see how that works if uh, nothing I might put another rubber band going this way too so make sure I get a double grip I don't know <laughs> and that's about it we're all ready to go I'm going to set us up. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. We're going to put our shaving cream in here. I saw Uncle L do this just the, the other day. He took his brush and strunged it, and then he just took the shaving cream off the little spoon, and then he put it inside his bowl. And you don't mess up your hands. It's a pretty neat idea. I like that a lot, Uncle. Uncle Hell's full of those ideas. Okay, now we're going to start making our our lather here. And I juice that little water that I had in there. Naturally, this Taylor's from Old Bond Street is really mixing up well. I left it here so you guys could see it. It's the tobacco shaving cream. I'm going to put some more water in there. I think it's going to need it. There we go. It's lathering very nice. Uh, I don't know if I told you earlier, but the razor blade we're using today is the Merker 34C, which I know I told you that. But this is the third in line of our 10 razors that we have. So this is number three so far. Showing you guys the Merker 34C. And then we'll go up to 10 and show you all my razors. Haven't picked up any new ones yet. 
It's looking pretty good. A little more water. I think we're pretty good here. We're almost ready to go. I like this bowl and the brush is a very nice fit. I think this looks beautiful. And we will we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I've already put my uh, Parasso pre-shave on. What I did first, I I heated up a wet towel with some hot water, and I s heated up my face with the wet towel, kind of give me a more protection, because last time I did the shave, it looked like I went to a knife fight. I was all cut up. I thought maybe I didn't put enough of this pre-shave on. So I loaded it up pretty good this time. You could probably see it shining on my face. So here we go, plenty of lather, nice brush, nice warm water in there. And we just take our time and we just, as Gary would say, we're going to have a relaxing shave. Thank you, Mr. Hopper Rocks. We're going to have a relaxing shave with our tobacco shave cream. Feels nice. I've got quite a bit of a growth here. Of course, it's nothing major for some of you guys got out there. But what I got, I got. Okay. We are now ready to find my razor. Here it is again. <laughs> here we go. I keep forgetting I put it in the water. Okay. Fellas, let's cut some hair. But let's try not to cut my face this time. It seems to be cutting quite s smoothly. There we go. Well, I have a little story for you guys about this lady that was looking for her birth father. She never knew who her father was. And she went to look and look and look and she had a friend that she met. They were friends for a couple of years and loved each other. They knew the kids, everybody was very happy. And the friend, the young lady said, I'll try to help you find your birth father. And she did the best she could to help her. And now, uh, One day, let me put another, put another coat on here for past two. One day she called up to the people that were helping her look for her birth father. And then somehow or another, someone told her that they found some information on the birth father, but, uh, they found out that uh, through other generations in the, the family, someone said, yes, the father uh, was so-and-so, so-and-so. Can't remember his name. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going across. Okay. So they said, okay, now, these people are saying these are the 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 man that we found has another daughter and her children name and he said the children's name. She, she looked at men and said, What? <laughs> the children's name are so and so, so and so, so and so, this, that. 
So you sure? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, she called up to her best friend that she knew for a couple of years. Uh, could you tell me what's your father's name? Oh, she said Soto Soto, which was the same name that they said. So this was her half sister that was been her friend, <laughs> been being her friend for a couple of years, and then they just and they even looked alike. It was unbelievable. What a story. A woman that had a friend and ended up being her best friend and her half-sister. I thought that was pretty neat. Hang on one second. I'm not, I'm not feeling I'm getting a clean shave. I don't know why. The blade's in there. And it's right. Okay, let's keep going. May my blade's too old. Okay, we're going across. That was an interesting story. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with shave today because I went to my eye doctor, checked my glasses out, and he did all those tests on it and dilated my eyes and all that. And I got a taste of him. I wasn't sure what I was going to do it because it's kind of blurry. But I had to wait a couple hours, then I came home and did it. And here we are. We're okay now. Oh, another thing. Oh, you know what? You could use another pair of glasses. Oh, really? Yeah, how much is that? With your insurance, is another $300. I said, I just spent two something just the other day, uh, a few months ago. Now you say I need another pair? Okie dokie, thanks a lot. What do you think of a money tree? Okay, here we go. Last pass, boy. Hope you guys like that little story. So far, there's no blood on my face. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, this is the last pass. And then I can use this little rubber band. Let's see how that works. Okay. Razor blades in there. Here we go, upstairs. You know, I think this blade's dull. It doesn't seem to be cutting as nice as it should. But it's coming off. But I think I'm gonna have to put a new blade in here. I might have used it and not marked it enough times. That's what happens when you get old, boys. Well, I'll tell you what happened to me the other day. Talk about memory. I had a custom-made little fishing pliers. I shouldn't say custom-made. It was a, it's a fishing plier. And I had a custom-made holster for it made out of, well, Kydex. But a lot of guys don't know what that is. It's like a plastic holster. And I had a custom-made for my fishing plier. Okay. And I always kept it in my little cabinet because I got all my stuff in my cabinet. It's a glass cabinet. that I love to look at my stuff. Got my knives in there. Got my reels in there. Well, one night my daughter had some friends over. And I went to sleep. It was getting late. They were talking to her. I said, good night. See you guys later. Have a good time. Okay. And they brought a couple kids with them. Seven, eight, ten-year-olds, something like that. Two boys. And they were looking at my stuff, my wife said. I said, really? Okay. Next morning I get up. I go to my cabinet. And one of my pliers are missing. The one that had custom holster for it. Oh, I was, uh, hey, what happened here? My daughter says, nothing, what happened? Well, missing my pliers. Oh, you must have put it somewhere. No, I didn't. I remember I put it in here. I just played with it a couple of days ago. I did not do nothing with it. Could you ask your friend, maybe the kids by mistake opened it up because I didn't have a lock on the, on the cabinet. I'll ask him. Nope, we asked him. 
Okay. Here goes my pliers. So I didn't say nothing about it. I ordered another pliers and I ordered another custom holster for it. Took about three weeks to get it. Custom made. All the way from back east somewhere. Same guy made me the same holster. This morning I'm cleaning out my garage. And I took a fishing tackle box down and I put it over. It's one of those satchel ones that goes around your chest. Soft. I opened up the zipper. There's the pliers in there. I must have put it in there and I didn't know. I forgot senior. Senile. I feel so bad now because in my mind, I accused one of the kids that took my pliers. So they, I, I never said nothing to anybody. I just, you know, I didn't get mad. I didn't say nothing. But in my mind, I felt guilty because I thought one of the kids took it. I apologize. Don't tell nobody nothing, but you were right. I put it away and I didn't remember. She says, I told you so. I said, you're right. I apologize. So there you go. Old people forget, even if they don't think, because I could have swore a million dollars. I did not put it in that bag. But I put it in there. Moral of the story is, I don't know what to tell the moral story is. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. All alumned up and washed off. Get ready to put on our pre-shave, I'm sorry, our after-shave and our post-shave. And go over our little things what we used. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That razor blade, I have to throw it away. I don't think it cut like it used to. So we don't get rid of that one. Next time we'll be coming out with a feather blade. But you know, took a couple of extra little tugs on it, but it worked. We got it. Okay. Now we are going to hit this brute. This is uh, the musk brute. And we're going to open that up. Now this comes out pretty quick. I guess they've done that on purpose. So you could use a lot of it and then buy more. Does have a nice scent. Burns a little bit, not bad. And then we're going to be putting our Nivea post shave. This is our little spa treatment. There we go. Don't forget the ears. Hope you guys enjoyed the shave. Hope you guys are all well out there. And then we're going to end it with some Brute Cologne spray on. There we go. I smell good now. Guys, I appreciate you guys popping in, always. Uh, we'll do our shave in three, four days again. Uh, maybe sooner, but we'll see what happens, maybe later. But anyways, I appreciate you guys uh, popping in. This is the shaving cream we use today, the tobacco from Taylor's. Our Brute Cologne. Our Brute Musk Aftershave. Nivea, post shave, our boar's hair brush from Omega with a wooden handle, very nice little brush, and the Merker 34C, world famous sweetheart of a razor. And I guess that's about it. I want you guys to be safe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want to, uh, Subscribe, please push that little button right there, that little guy with the glasses, and he'll uh, get you subscribed, ring the bell, tell people about us. I really do appreciate you. 
I want to say hello to my buddy up there, Texas Stephen. My other buddy up there that's coughing his head off right now in Canada, Gary Hopper Rocks, Uncle L in Australia, Robert Classic Shaves, love you buddy, Chuck Shaves, don't forget Chuck, Chuck is a good one, and uh, there's a bunch of them out there, like, oh, of course, you know, Ken Serves and uh, Geo Fat Boy and Sinatra Lennon, and uh, can't say enough about those guys. But anyways, you guys take care, please subscribe, please be careful. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America. Alex, I'm out.